Well, greetings in Jesus' name. I want to give you a little bit of uh, uh, exposure to the uh, Real Life Stories testimony books, the VET edition. If you've not uh, been made aware of the, this book, it's just uh, being used mightily of God to touch vets. It's a, it's a book that has 27 different testimonies of vets or four or retired vets and uh, they put together their stories of how God has reached out and given them hope, changed their lives for the better. And uh, we're just giving this book exposure to encourage folks to pray about putting copies of this priceless treasure into veterans facilities in your area. Um, and that VFWs have been uh, the place where I've been fortunate to be able to put these books into. Uh, I'm in a 12 now and as time allows we're going to continue to go out further and further from uh, the western Michigan area and uh, put these books out for vets to be able to get their hands on and be blessed by, encouraged by. Let me give you a couple of tips on this maybe for somebody who's who the Lord starts speaking to their heart about doing this. Um, I have yet to have one veteran facility uh, as an AMVETS or VFW say, no, I don't want these books in this location. Um, <clears throat> overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, they are blessed to be able to place the books out. 100 out of 100, and that doesn't surprise me because um, these vet centers are there to help vets. And um, I go in, I usually talk to somebody, oh, sometimes behind the, the, you know, the bar area and say, can I talk to somebody about um, getting permission to put uh, some of these uh, testimony books out for vets to have uh, and um, sometimes they'll say, you know, they'll ask, well, what is it? And I, I look through it a little bit. And I, so I quickly tell them, I let them know this is a, um, uh, uh, this is put out as a, a Christian publication. It is non-denominational. I think it's really key that you tell them that. It's a Christian publication. It's non-denominational. And its purpose is to give vets hope and encouragement. And that's about all you need to say. And, oh, yeah, you can put some out here. Yeah, 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 you can leave a few. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a few sometimes doesn't overwhelm people at first. So, you know, be willing to put out just half a dozen or so or whatever they would prefer. And let them get a feel. Somebody's going to take a look through it and say it's okay. And then you can always go back and put more in there. But I just challenging people because I feel God wants me to challenge people to pray about um, getting a case of these books. Information is in the description section below uh, from the publisher and um, get a case of these books and uh, be willing to put them in at least one veteran organization in your area. At least one. If there's more, well, consider going two, three, four as time allows. Um, you will be blessing vets greatly. You will be blessing God greatly. You will be laying up treasures for yourself in heaven, as Jesus says in Matthew 6, 19 to do. So it is a win-win situation. Um Getting these books out to vets who in turn will pass them along. Oh, my friend, if you're concerned at all about laying up treasures for yourself in heaven, as Jesus says to do, exhorts us to do, um, truly, I'm just being redundant here and saying that there's just, I, I can't think of any better investment, and it takes so little time. You can drive down to the vet center, ask them to put some books out, it'll get done, and uh, 
take you all of 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, depending on how far you have to drive, and go back every, you know, whenever to check back when it's convenient, see if they need some more books, as as you feel led to do. It's one of the easiest ways to lay up treasures in heaven for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because after all, um, lost souls uh, that he died for um, are his priceless treasures. And um, once they get to heaven, he will be the most blessed person there uh, when a lost soul gets saved. And that's exactly how God is using these books to plant water in the lives of the unsaved, but many who have been hurt, many who have been bogged down in life situations and it's hard to be excited about Jesus Christ. Well, this book is igniting people to get excited for Jesus Christ, getting off uh, their uh, prison bed, so to speak, and getting out there and being active in the kingdom of God doing the kingdom of God work um, while they can before their heart stops. So again, pray about that, please. Thanks for hearing me out. God bless.